Thank you, JT, and the program committee for having me. This is my disclosure. So does graph healing matter or not matter? Well, you know, to me it's an obvious answer. However, Dr. Merzine, who you see here, is obviously a handsome guy, excellent surgeon, smart guy, but smart, handsome people can still make mistakes. So I think it matters. The SCR rationale is that when you don't have one, humeral translation increases in all planes, and you can reverse that with an SCR, and you can also decrease subacromial contact pressures. Here's a 57-year-old, prior acromioplasty, pseudoporetic. He has external rotators and an intact subscap, and you'll see on this X-ray on the uh, slide here, significant uh, humeral head subluxation and irreparable cuff tear and a pseudoporetic pattern. We go ahead and do our SCR, and uh, JT showed you how to do it, and he does a re remarkable job. In this case, I'm going to use a biceps augmentation, so we'll do a super pectoral. We'll take the stump and flip it back, prepare the tuberosity. We'll go ahead and uh, place our graft, and once the graft is in, we're going to go ahead and lay this biceps on top. So this is a hybrid. You'll see it uh, sitting, uh, so uh, autogenous sitting on top of allograft. What this looks like post-op, on the left you'll see the preoperative images, and on the right you'll see all this connective tissue sitting between the acromion and humeral head. The head is sitting down, and there's simply no question that this is a good construct, and I think we're going to help this patient. You'll notice here, post-op five months, although he doesn't look like it, he's very pleased with his outcome as we reverse his pseudoporetic pattern. Mahat has probably res reported the best results, but it's a different operation. It's fasciolata, it's an autograft, it's more than eight millimeters in thickness, but his reversal of moderate pseudoparalysis is fairly, it's almost, uh, it's remarkable. In the 90s, and overall graft healing greater than 90%.